A little lost, a little found. I started writing in 2020 slash 21. I'd kind of been away for a really long time on tour. The world was doing things and then suddenly it stopped and I had gone through quite a lot of challenges in that time and I think having that stop happen meant that I had to really reflect on my life and where I was at at that point and I think I felt in a lot of ways that I had lost myself and so writing these collections of song, this collection of songs has kind of allowed me, it's been part of my process to going from feeling very lost to feeling <laughs> way more found than I did before and I know it's really cliche to say it like that but yeah every song on the project was kind of a moment that I needed to process in order to move forward with my life so it's kind of a little time capsule of of those three years of my life really. My favourite song that's really hard because I think it changes all the time. I think for me, Pick Your Tears Up will always be up there with one of my favorites just because of how it came about and the fact that at the point when I wrote it, I kind of was not feeling very confident in writing or being in the studio. I kind of lost a lot of my confidence. And for some reason, the day that we made that one, I got really confident and I just like, I was working with this guy called Tevin for the first time and he gave me a microphone and was just like, have fun, like do whatever. And I'm not that person. Like I'm a very introverted studio goer. Like I'll sit in the corner with my notepad, like pretending that I haven't got anything for hours, but I've actually written like paragraphs and paragraphs. I'm just waiting for the best thing to come up before I say it out loud. So kind of being in a position where he was encouraging me to just like try things and not be scared was amazing. And it kind of resulted in this song that I felt at a time where I didn't really have a voice in a lot of ways and I didn't know how to kind of sing and, and sing. I didn't know what to talk about. I kind of found it in a, in a place of just having fun, singing random things on the mic. The song is pretty much 100%, not 100%, but nearly 100% made up using my vocal. And so kind of, it feels very pure and, and human and raw and honest and feels like me, which is, is really cool. Was, whew. Do you know what? All the songs in this project were quite easy to write. I'm not gonna lie. I think they were just things that I was really feeling in the moment. So they kind of flowed out of me quite naturally. I think Mother is a song that I always wanted to write. Um, I think it kind of tells the story of being me, being a mixed race girl who grew up in a place like London, which is a melting pot of different cultures. And then kind of with a, with a single parent, a white mum, and then moving to a place like Brighton, which is a seaside town, and it's not as diverse as a place like London and having that kind of culture shock, but also being denied the relationship that me and my mom had built together. I think just it being us two, and then going somewhere where people were seeing us for the first time and saying, that can't be your real child. Like, is that your real mom? Are you adopted? Like kind of questioning, and that was my one person. And I think throughout my life, I've been processing that experience and, with Mother and writing that song. I don't think it was hard to write. I think it was just one of those songs that I hadn't written yet that I always knew that I wanted to, to talk about that experience of kind of being my mother's daughter, but maybe on the outside and when the world look in, kind of that not being so clear and having to navigate that. I would say I have probably gone back and forth with every single song that I've put on the project, but I love them all so much. And I think it was just one of those things where everything I write is so personal and honest and true to my experience that sometimes it can be quite daunting to put it out into the world and kind of basically open up my diary for everyone to look in. Um, but with that also comes that release and that freedom to just like move on and carry on with my life. And so I'm really proud of every kind of chapter in this, in this project and I'm just excited for people to have it and put their own lives and stories onto it and, and kind of the songs to travel further than my laptop and my headphones. <laughs> I think when I made my first project, um, the Why Her Not Me EP, I was super young. I was very naive. I was very green to everything. I kind of just made music. I wrote it because I needed to and I was going through personally a lot of things and a lot of emotions and the project kind of the fact that it's even a project is mad because it was just like my life at that point and and it was kind of i didn't even think about the fact that people would hear it <laughs> um which then became quite scary when people did hear it and then with 
a little lost, a little found, the songwriting thing, I, between Why Her Not Me and this project, like, there was a period of two years where I didn't write a single song, and I kind of didn't know how, I didn't know what I wanted to talk about. I, I had, there was a lot of pressure on me, and I didn't, it kind of stunted my creativity in a lot of ways, and I think now I've come to a point which is so amazing where I can sit at a piano and I will often write a ballad and it'll probably be sad, but I can also experiment and I can have fun and it doesn't have to be this overthought thing. I can just create something. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I move on. Whereas previously, everything had to have, like, I couldn't let go, I couldn't experiment. And I think, again, to reference Pick Your Tears Up, that was like the first kind of stamp of like this new chapter of me as like a creative person and someone that loves making music it's just like if i just let go and don't overthink things i can create something that is way bigger than i am and something that i'll be proud of forever so um yeah i think my mindset to making music has has changed and for the better so yeah <laughs>